Hello there. Yes, this is Matthew the Millennial Carry. How you doing? Yes. Wow, wow, yeah. Just two days ago, yeah. I don't just announced that she'll be resigning around February the 7th, 2023. Yeah, February the 7th. That's when just an I don't be resigning and yeah, I just want to make this box just so I can give out my thoughts and that though. And yeah, because yeah, back in 2017, yes, that's when she was elected, but although I actually never forgot about the election back in 2017, yeah, because nationally did actually want it, but then the votes was given to Labour. Yeah, by New Zealand first and that though, and which, which that saw, of course, New Zealand first to be undermined politically as well, because if you're going to still be endorsing one, one party though, it's going to undermine you politically, and yeah. Well, let's just get to it now, because I like to keep this video short, yes. Yeah, we know what I'm doing is really not, and pretty much mostly negative. Yes, mostly negative. I know it's going to be a lot of negative stuff in this video, of course, yes, because she had done a lot of negative things to New Zealand, yes. Well, one is with the zero carbon, yeah, with the zero carbon bill, yeah, because we know that <laughs> she's the one that, <coughs> yeah, eradicate anything that's carbon based, because we know that humans, we all, we are carbon based as well, so as plants, animals and that, on our carbon base, yeah, a lot of life form on earth is carbon base, and the next one is that, yeah, the Christchurch terror event on March the 15th, 2019, yeah, that was a horrific time for New Zealand, and I can't say too much about it though, and we know that at least 50 people died on that day. This is equivalent to people who get murdered each year in New Zealand, and also equivalent <laughs> to people who also get murdered in South Africa daily. Yeah, so let's just move on from that, and yeah, when, yeah, when 2020 came as well, and that's when the COVID thing came about and that and that's when yeah around March yeah and that's when she declared the lockdown and that though for at least over a month and that though and yeah yes and that lockdown really so I thought I was uh, yeah because me I thought it was a good idea and that time for container virus until I saw look deeper yeah, because yeah, lockdowns can really sort affect you mentally as well. It depends how long you've been in it as well, how long you can handle it as well. And but I did get out, get through it fine. But man, first the social distancing, yeah, the social distancing you can't really hug or make contact with other people. The thing. Well now, it's time that we move on from that, yet yeah, because she passed the health response bill as well. It is similar to Hitler's Enabling Act as well, and which allowed him to have control over Germany as well. And yet yeah, with the health, yet yeah, with, yeah, with the response bill, like every 90 days she had to like renew it and that. Or else it had to be scrapped and that. Yeah, because yet yeah, health responsibility just sort it loud police and health officials to have more powers than that. Thing and you should probably look it up yourself and yeah. And of course here yeah, by twenty twenty one that's when the V's and that start becoming a thing. The injection, the C ninety injections and that. Start becoming a thing and that from 2021 and that's when yeah because yeah from even from my uh from may 2020 that's when i was saying to speak about b passes and that then we'll come into place in new zealand which it had 
since from December 20, 21, all the way to April 2022, yeah. And that's for sore left off people so coming all, all the way to Hunter Grounds and that, folks, and... <clears throat> yeah, and which people had been camping on the Palmer ground for at least up to 23 days until they were forced up by the police and that. Which year, because which it talked about the count, a third of the country's police force to force the people out of Palmer ground. Yeah, of course, just to let know that that Arden is really committed to a conference what the genders have been put Fourth by the World Economic Forum. Yes, by the World Economic Forum. And well, and yes, also the another one is that the closing down of the Marston Oil Refinery. And yes, folks, the oil refinery is a vital, is a vital part of New Zealand infrastructure for the New Zealand economy because it. Yeah, because we do need gas to drive our cars and that. And of course they want to close it down and replace it with solar panels and that though, folks. And yes, this is my... <laughs> my thought on it though, and that's one thing I will... will yeah, that's also another thought. And the question is, who's going to be the next person that's going to take her place? And that's one thing I will not be hoping is that my who had that dog, the lady that was pushing the free waters and the hair per per thing and the my receptors thing as well. But she it and I heard there was a it a bear that was put uh, that Terry upon had covered as well, yet Terry upon and I'll leave the link under below and about the yeah, it has something about the news and journalism though, that you had to like, at least speak my to even be a part of journalism, and you had to be like, pushing, you had to be like, pushing the woke culture thing as well, in which, that's just a no-go-go, -go, and, in my opinion, and, and of course, with the three words, that's, yeah, that sort of allows the gun to have control over water infrastructures and that, yeah, water infrastructures. Yes. And, well, another thing I wouldn't be missing when she resigned is her smile. Yeah, gosh, it is dreadful. That smile of the center Arden is absolutely dreadful. Yeah, I wouldn't be missing that. Yeah, well, folks, I think that's what I got to say, because I always feel a bit long, though. Well, it's about probably about eight minutes now. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to leave it at that, folks. Well, folks, this is Matthew, the Manil Kiwi, signing off, over and out.